What's up? This is HG News here, so I'm actually going to, um, sorry about that, I had to actually put my airplane on, um, airplane mode so it doesn't play my, um, you know, soundtracks or whatever, you know, ringtone, so, so I don't have to get copyrighted <laughs> on this video, so, to get that out of the way, so you know about this channel, about this video, and the, and the title, and the last one actually, and this one too. I uploaded this morning. Uh, this is the better details. Apparently, there has been a company who is doing the same thing as the one company 11 years ago in 2009. They were called Pystar. They were a company, and I don't know where it was. They were selling computers with Mac OS installed, as well as Windows. And what got them in trouble was. They were selling Mac OS, you know, pre-built computers with the OS installed, and by the Apple EULA, uh, it's illegal. And apparently there's another company who uh, just started doing this again, and their website completely went down. I, I'm trying to look. You see there's no actually website. They worked open computer, computer you know, pre-built Hackintoshes, you know, like Pystar was. They got debunked. They got, like... I mean, they got hit bad. They got sued. And uh, with the open agreement from Apple, whatever it is, it can only be, it says it can only be installed on a legit Apple product, like a Mac or, you know, iMac or Mac Mini or MacBooks. No others. No unauthorized non Apple hardware. And that's something what Pricer did for a while. And they got sued. They got their butt sued. And they went to court and lost. Well, there's another company who just showed up five or six days ago, posted online with, you know, ads of uh, Hackintosh, once again, a hacked version of Mac OS, basically on there, with since thanks to tools and hacks to uh, install it onto machines. Basically, a lot of modders and people like that has found ways to Take this OS I'm using to record on and put it on a plain old PC. Legit. For real. And then get by with it. And there were one company that did that when I was in high school and they they eventually went under. And uh, there was a there was a two thousand nine there was in December there was a court who ordered them to stop because it's copyright. You're, you're making you're selling a product of a different company who does not want their product be on a Windows based PC, but only on their Mac computers. That's it. That's the, that's the thing, and they violated that. And this company's trying to violate it too. For they just had YouTubers showing you know the price of the Macs and the Hackintosh, basically hacked versions of PCs running the OS, the current Kylina, which I think is kind of horrible. It's not really a stable operating system. I actually had trouble with this mic earlier, and finally, I guess I did an update and fixed it. So I thought I had hardware trouble, and I did not have software related, which is kind of the reason why I don't really want to go towards Apple again as dealing with them. Because when I bought this machine, I saved up this machine for the machine while working. I still work for the same company. And um, it was like $100 per check, they paid every two weeks. And this thing was like $1,100 when I got it. It's like, it must have been $1,300. Um, only downside is I can't upgrade this machine. I stuck with this default, so what's in it. Because there's over five years in the market, and Apple will not allow authorized repair centers from, you know, like Best Buy and them to actually work on these machines after they're five years on the market. And that just sucks <laughs> for me, in my opinion. And it would be nice to work on it, fix it but it's not worth taking the screen off and then replacing the RAM and looking at components like dusting the thing out is definitely needed but you know it's been having trouble. It had trouble with the GTI GTA five footage for like thirty minutes or thirty three, four minutes trying to edit it and put it into one video. And the entire thing was making halfway through and then whole thing just crashed and I don't know why but it I didn't get to see the air. So something that apparently happened, and I was in the other room when it did occur at night. So, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe below. 
because it can really help. And uh, this is apparently using a bootloader of a certain company. It's open source. As you can see, AMD, yeah, they're gone. Apple must have took their furry, I mean, their anger towards them pretty quickly. So it didn't take long for that website to disappear, basically. And, uh, yeah, it says, run Mac OS hardware, not authorized by Apple. It's a free open source tool to prepare that, you know, basically install OS onto an authorized PC, basically a Windows PC or a custom Windows machine um, that doesn't have Apple hardware in it, basically, to explain it, you know. And this is Apple based, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it legitimately. <laughs> and uh, apparently, they're, they got shut down before they even had a chance. So that's pretty really quick. For what I am seen. I see. And it's illegal for them to sell those computers, by the way. See? As only when they were offering the Metea ITS, which is a small case, by the way, a small form factor motherboard. Um, Pystar, that was the company right there. And like a Mac, it's so slow it will not do it. See right there, going 6 on 7, I told you. And they only had like a couple of years to do this, like five years maybe. And until the nine come in December and they were done. So, uh, commercial Hackintosh. And, um, just don't support it. Okay? I don't tolerate it. It might be cool back in the day, but no, not now. No. Because Apple used to do this. They used to allow companies in the early 90s to actually. Build computers. There were IBM custom, you know, certain computers that were licensed to run a Mac OS, and um, it didn't turn that good. They were not. They were almost about to be bankrupt. Basically, they were. It was costing too much. And Apple only received fifty dollars per computer per PC of a Mac clone, and they went to the clone vendors. No, Steve Jobs did, and he's probably looking over the grade right now. Because uh, he had to shut them down, you know, he was trying to be a man of, you know, his appearance and trying to offer, hey, can you pay us a good fair price? And he always said, pound sand, pound sand. And he shut them down in 97. So a lot of the newer OSs of Apple has are not licensed, so they can't be on the computers when they're sold. And they, were, they used to do it for a while, but it wasn't, it was basically... They were about to go bankrupt and be gone off the face of this earth. And that was not an option for, for Steve Jobs to come back in and take over Apple. So uh, that's why you see it as it is now. They're strict. And uh, he you know, just said that way. Because I don't think they really damaged Hackintoshes that much. I mean, I wouldn't run one myself. <laughs> Unless I really knew how to do it, but still it's against me. And... Um, it's a perfect good OS. I mean, I don't think. If it was just more reliable, maybe. It's hardware. But, um. Just don't do it. Don't, I'm sure they're gone. They're not going to be coming back. But hope, if I'm wrong, we'll see it again. There'll probably be another one. I don't know how long. But hopefully not. But it happened 11 years later. And uh, this is what we got lately in the month of June of 2020. And, um. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Honestly, this is uh, not tolerated by Apple. Love well, as one of my music players and my favorite audio tracks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, see ya.